Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. So today is literally the most exciting day of my life. I've, well, the most exciting, the most biggest, the most stressful day of my life. Um, so I'm starting this vlog, sat in the car, currently waiting to go in and pick up my new car. Um, so it's shucking it down. Um, so I don't know why I even bothered curling my hair last night. I spent like half an hour doing it. There's a girl in the car behind me, so I'm trying to block the camera with my head. I imagine it'll do it because my head is quite pretty big. But yeah, I'm basically here picking up my new car and dead excited. It's literally my dream car. I've wanted this car for literally years. I'm going to tell you a bit more about it later, um, about like the thing, the story behind it and stuff, because um, I need to go in. But very very excited a little bit nervous to be driving a new one it's a bit bigger than the one i've got now and it's new so it's just yeah a bit nerve-wracking but i'm gonna go in because he'll be waiting for me and i'll um check back in with you well i'll do a little clip of something in the car and then i'll check back in with you when i'm done <laughs> So he's just gone to sort some stuff out, but we've got my keys. I'm very, very excited. Um, I've not actually seen it yet. I've been looking around to see if I can see it anywhere, but I can't actually see it. I can see a registration that looks similar to the one that he sent me, but not, it's not the right one. Can't wait to see it. I'm excited. I'm nervous, very nervous. Oh my God, it's under that cover. So he just brought me in and I said, I was like, oh my God, I'm dead excited. Can I take a video when it comes off? And he was like, yeah, sure, take a video. Then left and had some come back. <laughs> Am I supposed to take it off myself? The door is shut, so he must be coming back, obviously. I've got to drive it out of there. Okay, so I'm back home now. Um, I've actually not been bad driving it, to be fair. I thought I would be like really, really nervous. Um, but to be honest, it doesn't feel, it is bigger than my last car, but it doesn't feel like way, way bigger. Um, like in terms of like the width of it. Um, it's a lot higher, which I love. Um, but I, I'm just in love with it. I, I'm in love with it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I'll give you a little, just, uh, that rain is horrendous. I'll give you a little thing of inside whilst it's raining because I am definitely not getting out in that. Um, and I'm just gonna have a little play around with some stuff and yeah, just yeah, get used to it, I guess. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. So obviously, steering wheel, keys, lights. And then obviously the screen here and then we've got like a little cup holder um, down here and a little usb thing under here you see that um what are these called like used to be cigarette lighters but it's just like a electric thing now isn't it um obviously gears and then in the middle um the central bit there's all the controls here and then a little storage compartment there um i'm absolutely obsessed with it i actually I literally love it. Um, the back is so much bigger than my last car. It's gonna be so much more room for people. The funny thing is, because I'm so short, I literally have my chair like as close as I can. Um, so like my friend, she's got this car as well. So because I'm so short and I'm forward, like this is not like an armrest. Like I think my friend in her car, you like can lean on this or whatever. And when I'm using this, I have to kind of like lean back. Um, but that's just because I'm a short ass. Um, so yeah, so I've just been and actually managed to get petrol, which is a miracle in itself, to be honest. Um, so yeah, as soon as it stops raining, I'll give you a little thing of the outside as well. Okay, so I'm inside. I am gonna make a cup of tea and have something to eat because I am starving. Um, and then today is actually also the day that I pick the keys up to my new apartment. It didn't, it wasn't supposed to all fall on the same day. Um, I was actually supposed to get my car later than this, but it was ready early and yeah, we was able to bring forward 
getting the keys um so i'm really excited i am going to film a empty apartment tour this evening i'm going to be videoing basically the whole weekend um i didn't really feel like i should just do like a i'm getting a new car video so i wanted to do this weekend because this whole entire week has got some crazy stuff going on like i'm going to london tomorrow um and um yeah it's just it's just a lot I wanted to also say as well, um, I mean, I can't believe I kind of have to do this, but I also understand that um, me showing you the car that I've got and that I've got a new car and whatever else um, isn't me bragging. So I wanted to share this and I thought twice about doing it because sometimes people get stick basically for showing things that they've bought on youtube and social media and stuff um but i'm just going to be quite frank i work hard i have worked hard to be able to get that car and i literally work three jobs i work six sometimes seven days a week really long hours um and i just feel like i shouldn't really have to justify in a way like getting that car so i totally get like the thing is it's just the car that i so I, yeah, I feel like I'm rambling now, but I wanted the car and I've dreamt about it for so long. So the story behind it is my last car that I got, I had an Audi A1. And when I got that, that was my dream car. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. But literally about a year later, I saw these Audi Q2s on the road. And I think at that point they was pretty new. I think they literally just come out the year before. And I was like, oh my God, what is that? And I started looking it up and I'm like, I want, I want one of them um but I was really happy with my car and I didn't feel the need to change it then but I'm like that's my next car so that was about three years ago where I was like I really really want one of them cars and I was like I'm just gonna ride it out and then get one like when it's the best time for me um so as I basically I decided to stay at home a few more months um month a few months ago so i was like do you know what i'm just gonna get that car but i kind of didn't really count on the fact that i would have to wait a few months for it to be delivered so i kind of have only just got it and now i'm moving out at the same time so this week has been a little bit stressful i've been worried about money and stuff like that but like i've planned everything out and i'm fine it's just that i get a little bit anxious over stuff like this and overthink things um so i'm gonna have a cup of tea really quickly i've got about 20 minutes and then i'm gonna go and get my keys Hold on, my friend's FaceTiming me. Hello? Have you got it? Yeah, one minute I'll show you. It's um, it's raining outside. Okay, so I'm pretty much all packed to go to London. So the plan is I am going to Sheffield this evening. We are traveling to London tomorrow by train. And then we're coming back to Sheffield on Friday and then we've got a gig so basically we're going to london because my boyfriend's djing and then we're going to sheffield because my, boyfriend's, my boyfriend's djing there and then saturday we're going to come back to manchester um and we're going to try and get some more house bits done and i think on sunday we're going to go to i'm just going to call it my house because keep saying the apartment feels really odd i'm going to go to my house um you know what i mean like my home i'm just going to say house and give it a good clean because it's not dirty but it's just dusty because no one's been in there for a few weeks and just like get everything clean so that i can start putting some stuff out and then i'm hopefully going to move in about a week on sunday um so it's about 10 days and yeah so i've basically got everything packed i always 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 feel like i'm forgetting something and i don't know what it is that i feel like i've forgotten I think I've got my two outfits. I honestly am not prepared. Like, normally I'd order something, I've not. So I've had to just throw a couple of outfits together. Um, so I'm going to drive over to Chef now. It's actually getting quite late. Uh, it's about half past eight. And, yeah, so hopefully I can leave for around nine. I'll get there around ten. And then um, we'll be getting the train in the morning. So I probably won't check in with you again now. It'll probably be tomorrow when we get on the train, I would imagine. into the room we're at the old ship inn in hackney um it's a really cute room actually so obviously i've got double bed wardrobe which i've just hung some stuff up um and then bathroom is in there floorboards okay. 
We're gonna go downstairs now and get something to eat because we're starving. Just have a bit of lunch and then come back up and start getting ready. So not rushing around. So we've just come downstairs to have some lunch and we're gonna have this smash burger. So it's double beef smash patties, double dirty cheese, pickles and onions and burger sauce. We've both got no pickles and onions because we don't like them. I don't know if Kurt likes pickles actually, but I definitely don't. So I'll do that with a side of fries and then a couple of soft drinks. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. Um, I've just got a pink blazer on with some black split leg. Split leg? Yeah, split. I don't know, leggings um, and some white trainers. So we're just waiting for the Uber to come and pick us up and then we're going to the club for a sound check, I think it is. Um, we've got quite a few hours until he actually goes on. I think he's on at half nine and it's currently half four. Um, so yeah, so I think we're just gonna do that and then probably go out and get some tea before we do the show. We're done at half three. <laughs> <laughs> check out the hotel um it's about 11 o'clock i think so we're gonna go get some breakfast because we're starving last night was so good um i will have put some clips in um of last night anyway so we're gonna go get some breakfast go and get on the train and head back to sheffield then we've got another gig this evening um so obviously i'll vlog for the rest of the day and stuff but yeah it was really good last night um we've, i found a cafe called i think it's called mess cafe in hackney the pictures on google look amazing and yeah, so we're just gonna go there and see if that's open and see. So we're just at the next venue. Um, they go on in about three hours. Um, they're just out there doing a sound check um, and rehearsing with the singer and Annalisa. Um, you would have seen her yesterday, she's amazing. If I get a chance tonight, I'll introduce you properly to her because she's honestly an incredible person. Um, so I'm just sat doing a little bit of work whilst they do that. Um, just getting some little bits done and then I need to get dressed. I'm going to get changed here and I think we're going to go some, for some food in between as well. Fingers crossed we'll have enough time. I think we will do to be fair. I feel like this video is showing a little bit more of like my life with obviously my boyfriend doing like being in music business and what it's like traveling to shows and stuff like that. I don't go to all of the shows, but I do go to the ones that I can. One, because I love their music and I enjoy the shows anyway, and two, obviously to support him. <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking a little bit sweaty, but the guys have gone on. Um, I've just come backstage to make them a drink because it's very sweaty out there. I'm very thirsty work, I imagine, DJing. Obviously, I wouldn't know that, but I'm gonna make a drink and take some water as well because, my God, you need it out there. It's very hot, very sweaty, very full, which is obviously really good. Um, but yeah, I'm just on backstage duties, basically. Um, only a little measure. They are working after all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna take this out to them, but I've put a little clip in of the crowd, so you can kind of see how manic it is out there. Um, I've had to run back and forward a few times for some things, and basically didn't think I was gonna make it back through the crowd. Thought that was it, I was just gonna be stuck where I was. But I made it back, and we're all good. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this out. I've just been sat editing this vlog. I mean, 
looking a hot mess but i realized that i didn't close anything out big thursday night friday night so saturday and sunday was just like a total write-off just felt like i needed to rest so i didn't vlog anything because i didn't do anything um so i'm going to close this video out here i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you here again very soon bye <laughs>